السلام عليكم and hi everyone this video will discuss about chapter 13 case law and kinetic theory for your information we have three subtopic in this chapter which are 13.1 algebra equation 13.2 kinetic theory of gases 13.3 molecular kinetic energy and internal energy so i will cover 13.1 Aldea gas equation. So let's get started. Okay, for 13.1 ideal gas equation, we have two learning outcomes, which is at the end of this topic, you should be able to solve problems related to ideal gas equation. And the second one is to discuss the following graph of an ideal gas, which is PV graph at a constant temperature. Vt graph at a constant pressure and Pt graph at a constant volume. Okay, let's look at the law that we have in, in this chapter. So we have three law here, which is Boyce law, Charles law and K. Luzet law, also known as pressure law. Pressure law. Okay. Let's look at one by one. So we have Boyce law. So Boyce law state that the pressure of a fixed mass of an ideal gas at constant temperature is inversely proportional to its volume. So mathematically, we can write like this, which is P is the pressure is inversely proportional to volume and the condition is at T temperature constant. So, we also can write it as PV is equal to constant. We can represent um, this law by the graph, PV graph. So, we have the curve, the curve graph, which means which mean that if P is increased, so the volume will decrease. The volume will decrease. Okay, P, P increase, so V decrease. Okay, so the equation is PV, P, P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. So, this is for Boyce law. Okay, let's look at the second one, which is Charles law. So, Charles law state that the volume of a fixed mass of an ideal gas at constant pressure directly proportional to its temperature so mathematically we can write we can write it like this volume directly proportional to temperature if p is constant pressure constant or we also can write it like this v over t is equal to constant so the graph here the graph for v uh, for Charles law is straight line graph which is V against T so we have straight line graph that means if V increase so temperature also increase temperature also increase and if P decrease so temperature also decrease decrease okay so the equation for Charles law is P over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. Okay, so the last one is Gay-Lussac law or pressure law. State that the pressure of a fixed mass, the, the pressure of a fixed mass of an ideal gas at a constant volume is directly proportional to its temperature. So, we can write at we we can write this we can write like this which is pressure directly proportional to the temperature if v is constant okay so if v is constant or we can write like this p over t is equal to constant the graph p against t is same to the v against t because um, it's directly proportional. So, directly proportional. So, we will have the straight line. Straight line graph. Lah. So, straight line graph. Which means that if 
our pressure is increased so our temperature also can increase if our pressure is decreased so our temperature also decrease so our formula we will get p p1 over t1 is equal to p2 over t2 p2 over t2 okay we have one technique for you to remember this law so since we have three laws here so we can write it in terms of triangle form okay so you draw the triangle so you can write it p here this is v and the bottom one is t okay so the triangle we rotate is uh clockwise eh? okay so clockwise so we have p times v is boy's law so uh, v over t is our charles law and p over t okay p over t is our gay lusac law or pressure law so we have b c g here so p uh, p times v represent the boy's law okay p times v temperature constant for boy's law charles law is um v against t v sorry v uh, v over t pressure constant and the gray lusac law is p over t volume constant so you can draw it in triangle form to remember this law and the and their formula okay Okay, next we proceed to ideal gas equation. So, what is the ideal gas? Ideal gas is defined as a perfect gas which obey the three gas law, which is obey the Boyce law, Charles law, and Gay Lussac law. Therefore, we can combine all the equation to get this equation, or we also can write it as P one. P1 is equal, sorry, P1, V1 over T1 is equal to P2, V2 over T2. P1, P2 times dengan V2 over T2. Okay, you also must know that one mole of gas at standard temperature and pressure or at stp we call it as stp has as the temperature is equal to 273.15 kelvin or this is also equal to 0 degree celsius pressure is 101.3 kilopascal and volume is equal to 22.4 decimeter cube decimeter cube okay so for ideal gas equation in general we can write we can write the equation like this p times v is equal to n r t which is p is represent for pressure pressure v is volume and n is number of mole r is molar gas constant which is uh, the value is fixed which is r is equal to 8.31 temperature and t is temperature and also remember that the pressure the pressure must be in unit in si unit pascal volume must be in meter cube and temperature must be in kelvin Okay, must be in Kelvin. If you get the question not in SI unit, so you must remember that 1 ATM, 1 ATM, 1 ATM is equal to 101.3 kilopascal or is equal to 1.013 times 10 to the power of 5 pascal. Okay, so you uh, change it uh, from ATM to Pascal. Okay, so another that you also must know that 1 liter is equal to 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter cube. 
and another one is temperature for temperature if the question give you in degree celsius so you must know how to change the degree celsius into kelvin so if the question give you degree celsius so degree celsius want to change to kelvin you must plus 273 so 273.15 kelvin 273.15 kelvin for example so if you get um for example if the if question give you 20 degree celsius so change to kelvin so you must you must do that 20 plus 273.15 to change in kelvin not multiply in a eh? so you must plus 273.15 kelvin okay okay another equation that can be used for ideal gas so we have pv PV is equal to capital N K T, which uh, where P is pressure in Pascal and V is volume in meter cube and N capital N is represent the number of molecule. So number of molecule, number of molecule and K is represent represent the Boltzmann. Boltzmann constant so Boltzmann constant so Boltzmann constant which the value is k is equal to 1.38 times 10 to the power of negative 23 joule per kelvin and t is also temperature in kelvin so you can choose this equation um, you can choose this equation depends on the uh, depend on the question depend on the information given in the question so you can choose uh, you can choose either both equation either both equation to solve the problems in ideal gas equation okay this is equation for number of moles number of mole uh, is represent by a small letter n so we have n is equal to mass over molar mass or n also is equal to number of particles or number of molecules over avogadro number or number of mole also can be determined from volume over molar volumes Okay, so over molar volume. So the value for Avogadro number is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 20, 23. So 23. So this is the relationship between the number of mole and the number of particle and mass. So um, this diagram uh, will show you how to get the number of mole. So if you want to get the number of mole with times number of particles divide by an A. So we got the number of mole. If you want to get the number of particle, so number of mole times with an A. Okay, so another that if you want to get the mass, mass. So, from the number of mole, number of mole times with molar, molar mass. So, you will get the mass. This is uh, the diagram. Uh, it's shown you how to uh, rearrange the equation. Equation, the relationship between the number of particle, number of mole and mass. Okay, let's look at the exercise 1. So, we have an ideal gas at 20 degrees Celsius and pressure of 
times 10 to the power of 5 pascal is in a container having a volume of 1 liter. Okay, so before we proceed to the calculation, so we list down, we list down all the information given. Okay, so first we have 20 degrees Celsius. So temperature, we have temperature is equal to 20 degrees Celsius. So remember that 20 degrees Celsius, you must change to Kelvin. Okay, so how to change the Kelvin? So 20 degrees Celsius plus 273.15. So we have 293.15 Kelvin. Okay, so next information given we have pressure. Okay, so pressure which is 1.5 times 10 to the power of 5 Pascal. So next we have volume. So volume is equal to 1 liter. So the volume also you must change to meter cube. Okay, so meter cube. So we have 1 liter is equal to 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter cube. Okay, so let's look at what the question asks you to find. Okay, so um, the question asks you to find, determine the number of mole. So number of mole, symbol for number of mole is N. Okay, so N. So since we have N, we want to find N. So we have P V D. So the best equation we will use is P V is equal to N R T. Okay, so P V equal to N R T. Um, so rearrange the equation. We rearrange the equation. So we have N is equal to P V over R T. Okay, so after that, we just substitute all the information given to get the number of mole. So we have 1.5 times 10 to the power of 5. So V is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3. So divide by R is constants, which is 8.31 times temperature is 293.15 okay so um, after you calculate you will get the answer is 0 0.061 mole 0 0.061 mole okay so okay for question b we have the gas push against a piston suspending twice its original volume while pressure falls to atmospheric pressure, find the final temperature. Okay, question asks you to find final temperature. Okay, information given is volume is equal to twice original volume. So, V2 is equal to 2V1. So, we have 2 liter. So, 2 liter change to meter cube. So, we have 2 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter cube. Okay, pressure. So, we also have pressure, atmospheric pressure. So, P2 is equal to 101.3 times 10 to the power of 3 Pascal. Okay, so 101.3 times 10 to the power of 03 Pascal. So, equation, we can use this equation to solve this uh, problem. So, we have P1, P1 over T1 is equal to P2, V2 over T2. Okay, so we compare to the uh, first information first information so I will just substitute all the information given all the information given so we have uh, p1 is uh, 1.5 1.5 times 10 to the power of 5 b1 is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3 so t1 is 293.15 equal to P2 
itu 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 is uh, sorry pitu pitu is 101.3 times 10 to the power of 3 so v2 is 2 times 10 to the power of negative 3 over t2 okay so after you calculate you will get the answer is 395.95 kelvin okay so another uh, another method you also will use uh, this equation pv is equal to n rt because um we have p we also have v and also we have the constant r and n is same n is same which is um n is uh same which is we have uh, 0 0.061 mole which we get from the equation A so you also can use this equation to find the temperature but the um, answer will uh, a little bit different uh, a little bit different but also can as that uh. okay let's look at Question number two. So we have a storage tank at STP contain 28.5 kilogram. So 28.5 kilogram is our mass of nitrogen. Okay, given that the molar mass of nitrogen is 28.01 gram per mole. So question number question A asks you to find the volume of the tank. Okay, so B. Okay, so first we list out all the information given so we have m is equal to 28.5 kilogram so we have molar mass capital m is equal to 28.01 gram per mole so don't forget to change gram to kilogram per mole so change to kilogram per mole okay so at stp at stp we know that our pressure is equal to 101 101.3 times 10 to the power of 3 pascal so we know that temperature is equal to 273.15 kelvin okay so the question asks you to find volume okay so volume so we can use equation pv is equal to n r t so according to the uh, information given we don't have the value of n but the value of n we can find it from this information okay so we have n n is equal to mass over molar molar mass so we substitute that so we have 28.5 divided by 28.01 times 10 to the power of negative 3 so we have 1017.4 nine more so after we have uh, all the information so uh, we arrange the equation uh, we become our subject so we have n r t over p so substitute all the information given and you will get the answer so substitute all the information given we have one and number of mole is one zero one seven 0.49 times uh, times r is constant 8.31 times temperature is 273.15 over 101.3 times 10 to the power of 3 so we have after you calculate all this so we have the answer is 22.7 meter cube okay so
So, this is answer for question A. Okay, for question B. So, the question asks you, what is the pressure if the additional 25 kilogram nitrogen is added without changing the temperature? Okay, from the question, we know that M, the new M is M, M1 plus dengan 25 kg. Okay, so that M is equal to M1 plus 25 kg because additional 25 kilogram nitrogen is added without changing the temperature. So, T, T, T final, T2 is equal to T1. The, so, same to the original temperature. Okay, so, um, question asks you to find pressure. So, what is the pressure? Okay, pressure. So, we can use equation the same equation for the question a so we can use the same equation which is pv is equal to nrt okay so pv is equal to nrt but we must find the new n the number of molar eh, sorry the uh, number of the the new number of mole the new number of mole n so we find the new n n is equal to m over dengan molar mass so we have uh, 28.5 so 28.5 plus 25 over 28.01 times 10 to the power of negative the molar mass is same because we use the same uh, gas which is still uh, still we use the nitrogen gas so we calculate so we get we get the number of the new number of mole is one nine one zero point zero three mole okay so mole so we substitute in this equation so we have pv is equal to nrt so we want to, to find p so p is equal to n is one nine one zero point zero three times eight point three one temperature is two seven three point one five over volume is the same volume twenty two point seven eight so we calculate so we, we get the answer is 1.9 times 10 to the power of 5 pascal so this is the answer for question b so for question b okay proceed to last question question number three so we have a volume of vessel a is three times volume vessel b the vessel up fill with an ideal gas and are uh, at a steady state okay the temperature of vessel a and b is 300 kelvin and 500 kelvin if the mass of the gas in the vessel a is m determine the mass of the gas in the vessel b in terms of m okay so first let um list down all the information given we have first is volume so volume v a is equal to 3 v b we also have at steady state at steady state mean uh, p1 is equal to p2 okay so we also have temperature a temperature a is equal to 300 kelvin we also have temperature B, TB is equal to 500 Kelvin. We also have mass, mass A, mass A is equal to M. And the question asks you to find mass B, mass B in terms of mass A. Okay, so we have P, we have V, we have T, we also have M. So the equation uh, the related equation uh, we can use is PV is equal to NRT. So, PV is equal to NRT. So, we can start our um, our solution is from here. 
P1 is equal to P2. So, we arrange uh, equation. Uh, let P become our subject. So, we have N R T over V. So, substitute this equation into uh, this. Lah. So, we have N R T A over V A is equal to N R T T V over V B. So, over V B. And this is N A lah. So, N A, this is N B. Okay, so N B. So, since we have mass, what? But we don't have N. So, we know that N is equal to mass over molar mass. So, for this uh, question, our molar mass is same because we use the same gas so we use the same gas so molar mass a for molar mass b is same so we can substitute it into this equation lah. so we have m over molar mass r t a is 300 over v a so, VA, we know that is equal to 3VB. So, we substitute 3VB because we can cancel it VB uh, left and right, right side. So, 3VB. So, we have NB is M mass B. Okay, mass B over molar mass. R, TB is 500 over VB is VB lah, so VB. So for the for constant, we can cancel it lah. So we can cancel it the constant R. We also can cancel it molar mass and also VB and also VB. So our our uh, our uh, solution will become three hundred M three hundred M over three. Is equal to 500 mass B over 1. So, over 1. So, after we rearrange the equation. So, 3, 300. So, we will become 100 M is equal to 500 M. P. So, question asks you to find MB in terms of M. So, you rearrange equation. So, we have 100 M. 100 M over 500. So, simplify that. So, we have M over 5. So, we have M over 5. Sorry. So, we have mass B is equal to M over M over 5. Okay, that's all for this subtopic 13.1. So, proceed to 13.2. Thank you.